Hey there, collective. Okay, I'm back. I just finished the reading. I'm going to go ahead and upload it. I don't know if I'm going to post it yet. I'm going to have to, I'll probably have to wait till tomorrow um, to listen to it because honestly, I think somebody you know is in a cult. <laughs> Seems to be like a cult of personality at the very least. Okay. And um, there's just a lot of weird stuff going on in that last reading. So I just did a big cleanse. And we're going to see what this reading actually brings up for you guys, okay? All right, so let's see. Maybe I'll try these here. All right, so Spirit, what do we have for the collective today? Guys, remember this is um, a general collective reading, okay? So only take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm trying to make it fit if it does not. Listening. Let's see. Darkness does not always equate to evil. Light does not always bring good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Glad I read that. I've never read it. The number 23 or 32 could be relevant. Maybe somebody is trying to listen and to learn. Okay. Maybe they're trying to be neutral as well. Take in the information, not just shut it out because it seems bad, you know. Somebody, okay. So somebody is opening their mind. That's what it is. They're expanding their mind. Darkness does not always mean evil. And light does not always mean good. So this could have been somebody that was very restrictive with their viewpoints maybe before. And they're learning to kind of open their mind a little bit more and consider that there's more out there than potentially what they knew or what they were clinging to. What else, Spear? Okay, yeah. This is somebody who, look at that. We have an angel that has a dark wing, of course, and then the light wing as well. So... I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to make a choice regarding something. Maybe this is somebody who is, again, this could be some, all right, I'm going to give you an example. If this person was like heavily religious or something at first and say that tarot or things like that was considered evil, you know, maybe they're, they're learning more now. They're understanding, well, that's just not the case, perhaps, or maybe this person was on the dark side, <laughs> right? Maybe they were actually doing a lot of stuff like that pulled to I don't know many things that were not good and now they are you know learning kind of a different side of thing this is interesting this is somebody who has to that is trying to make a choice or maybe make better choices perhaps in their life they could also be trying to expand their vision a little bit more I feel like this is somebody who's trying not to be so rigid that's what i feel like you know it's okay for me to to be both all right i am both as a matter of fact we all have light and dark within us right um and that's okay you know and if they were in one place they could have been taught to to hate certain things about themselves and and likewise when they got into another place maybe they're figuring out well no this is this is part of who i am i can love that i can love all aspects of myself hmm okay so let's keep going Interesting. Okay. This could be somebody who wants to take some kind of risk. We have the number 31 and the number 46 here. Or you can change that to 13 and 64 as well. This is somebody who could be wanting to take a risk here. They know that they have to make a choice about it. They have definitely opened their mind. Um, it looks like, in a sense, they're they're looking at new things. And I have a feeling this has to do... Maybe they're just being more expansive in their own life, trying to figure some things out on their own. I do feel like a lot of people are awakening at this time, which is beautiful. Um, but it could also be that they are around someone or see someone or maybe they they know someone is this way and they're trying to be more open about it and maybe even learn a little bit about it as well. We do have the warrior coming in here. So this could actually be a warrior can be either masculine or feminine as we know, but I'm seeing with the choices too. This could actually be a masculine energy. That I'm speaking on. So let's go and see what's going on with this individual then. Actually, let me get an overall energy real quick. I always like to get those first. All right, spirit. Well, that card just flew out. What was it? Fortitude. Okay, so we have the strength card. It just literally when I picked up the deck flew out. So we have the strength card. Okay, so this could be somebody that is, maybe they're feeling stronger in who they are. Maybe they're feeling more confident in what they know or 
I think it has to do with who they are in some way, okay? And perhaps they are ready to take some kind of risk due to it. This person could have been working on their confidence as well. Or again, maybe just building their confidence. This is a very strong individual, generally. Yeah, I don't know. Something about that card, fortitude. Maybe it's going to take that. Maybe it's going to take that to kind of power through whatever this risk is that they're taking here. This is somebody who could feel like they've fought quite a few battles as well, and they're ready for it, you know? That's the, that card is the number two as well, by the way. All right, so what's going on with this person, this warrior spirit? Okay. Oh, nice. Three of swords in reverse. I like it. All right. person could have been all about the passion in the past year for sure this could have been someone who had their heart broken but maybe they've done some mending in that that is the three of swords here in reverse that's definitely a good sign that's somebody that's coming out of heartbreak somebody that's freeing up their energy their heart space they could also be experiencing some kind of heart awakening This is a person that spends a lot of time, I feel like, in their head, analyzing, deciphering, trying to figure out what is next or what they can do. The full card just basically confirms the risk as well. This is somebody that wants to be a little more lively. Like I said, they've been rigid in the past here. This is somebody who wants to be less rigid and take more chances, take more risk, I feel like, in their own life here. They're looking for some kind of success here, some kind of happiness, some kind of transformation. Maybe they're figuring out, oh, wow, that it requires risk. And look at this. There's the judgment card. This may be because of that. This person could obviously be doing going through an awakening. That makes total sense, right? So an awakening will definitely bring you to that place where you are seeing things very clearly. You become more accepting. You get out of your head, you know, and you get into the truth, all right? And when we do that, we understand that we don't need to focus on yesterday, you know, or what we feel, what our perceived failures or, you know, hurts, all of that stuff is. We begin to really kind of grow beyond that and see things differently. This person could be somebody who's single. This could be somebody who has done pretty well for themselves, okay? Um, yeah, they've worked hard. They've made their money. That's what I'm feeling. This could be someone who's been generally happy in their life that way, but maybe they also feel like something about this has made them, I don't know, maybe they were noncommittal or something like that as well. Made them almost unapproachable. This person could work alone as well is what I feel. What else, Spirit? Five of Cups, yeah. I think they've been sitting in quite a bit of regret, quite a bit of sadness here. Maybe as they watch someone else, all right, as they keep their eye on someone else here. It could be somebody here who they want to give to or they feel others are given to or maybe they're watching somebody that they care about give to others as well. Oh, yeah. This person's getting some kind of clarity about, some, oh my God, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely somebody they want to give to because they've gotten some kind of clarity about their love for another individual. Oh, snap. Magician in reverse, really? That's interesting. Okay, let's clarify the magician in the reverse because I'm definitely looking at... Wow, the King of Swords in reverse. Why is this King of Cups upset about that? I definitely see something that is going on here. Oh my God. This person sat in, okay, this is going to mimic. I'm going to tell you, I just did another reading that got a bit crazy. This one's going, this has a little bit of that in there. It didn't start that way at all. Well, it's just different decks. I guess it could have obviously started that way, but this person's feeling sad and regret as they watch you, okay? Um, because they have realized they've gotten some kind of clarity on the fact that they have these deep feelings for you, these deep feelings for you, okay? And maybe this has came as a result, yeah, it's came as a result of some kind of awakening that they've been through. But you could actually be this pre-empress energy is what I'm thinking here. 
And the issue with this whole thing, and the reason they're sad and regretful is because they were in this other energy before this King of Swords here in reverse. Or they could have been working with a King of Swords in reverse, just being very ruthless to you and trying to impact you in a negative way. Yep. Yeah, this is somebody that can come across cold and heartless, especially if they had a three of swords, if they were in some kind of heartache, you know, hurt people, hurt people. They could have definitely been lashing out in some way, trying to impact you. Why are you so stable? You know, why do you have all of this prosperity or whatever that you have around you? Why do you seem pretty content? You know, they were trying to interrupt your flow, uh, your contentment is what I'm feeling. And they were being very ruthless about it. They could have also said things about you to you. They could have gossiped in some way. Mm. But I'm definitely noticing here what they were doing. So energetically, the magician in reverse, they could have definitely been trying to manipulate you. They wanted your, I don't know, they wanted you, maybe they wanted you to suffer. I got to be honest with you. I just heard don't fuck with me. So that makes me think. I don't know if they think that you did something to them. Or maybe they just felt hurt by you and it just kind of sent them over the edge. Okay. Uh, especially if there was deep emotions that were involved. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you left. Maybe they think you played with their heart a little bit. This is sad. Okay, yeah. This person has not been able to get out of what kind, whatever chaos they've been in here. They've been waiting on their ships to come in. That's what it looks like. Perhaps they have not yet because you still see that that ship is still at a distance. Maybe so they, they could try and get a situation back. Let's see. Or maybe it has something to do with the past. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. This person, okay, this person has not been able to get out of whatever, whatever this, this energy has been. And maybe they didn't want you to be able to get away from that as well, especially if they were trying to create some kind of fall for you. I do think that they have been, there's some, they can't take their mind off of something from the past here. And that has to be you because they have some kind of feelings here for you. So you're coming up here as the queen of swords. You can definitely be a, um, a Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarius, but you could just be somebody that's coming off kind of more head of her heart. All right. You're very logical. Very, I, I think generally when I think about the, did I say queen of cups? If I did, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. The Queen of Swords. Um, yeah, they're very intelligent people as well. You may have a lot that you are communicating. This person seeing that things I think are turning right in your life. Okay, things are actually going good in your life. And I think they have been waiting for something to slow down or to get out of some kind of turbulent waters. But it hasn't happened here so that they can move towards something that they want here. They might feel like you're some kind of soulmate to them as well. That's why they were so angry maybe about how something went down. I'm not really sure. Okay. Yeah, we have, okay, we have the world. I'll just take this and take it all out. Oh, wow. The four palace. Let me see how many fell because I didn't know all these fell. I'll just put the rest back in because I literally have another eight cards. I didn't know that. I'll get some more though. All right. Um. So you could be at a distance from this person. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, you could be at a distance from this person. You could have been doing some kind of healing as well. Maybe this person's been doing the same thing here. Wow. Okay. Maybe this person's also been doing some kind of healing here. Maybe they feel... Maybe that's why they're coming out of that Three of Swords, actually. Whatever was causing that. Whoever this is, I think they feel like they want to start either. Maybe they feel like there's just been an end to some kind of cycle. 
Maybe you feel that way. Maybe you have finally put an end to the energy here and you're actually able to heal. This is making me wonder if this king of swords with a magician is someone else here. Because why am I feeling now like I got two people that are being attacked? It was not like that in the last reading, by the way. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting that this time. So this could definitely be... Maybe somebody was messing with both of you guys. Maybe this was one of their friends or somebody who they actually trusted. It could have been somebody that was a superior. I'm not sure why I'm getting that. Or maybe somebody who... Um, who they trusted. Whoever this person is, they could be close to this masculine and trying to keep them in a situation that they haven't, maybe they wanted to move, move on from. This is, Somebody here is in love, okay? They have a lot of love. They feel like someone is their soulmate, maybe even their twin here with these swans. And they want to bring some kind of balance here. They may also see someone here has built a quite nice life for themselves or that someone here is really focused on just their stability at this time. We have the Two of Cups and the Lovers here, okay? Someone feels very connected, it looks like, to another person here. Maybe they see this person as their son. They see this person as their happiness. It's really weird because <clears throat> the King of Swords was obviously abuse in their power. And I'm trying to figure out what, where the connection is. This is definitely somebody this person trusted. Maybe they didn't want this person moving on or moving away from them or something. <clears throat> or maybe this masculine is bi or something. Do they, do they deal with both men and women? I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right, so what? Well, let's look at this King of Swords. Who is this King of Swords? Like, what's their issue? Yeah, look, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't want somebody to leave. They didn't want somebody to go in a different direction. This could be somebody around their work life. It could be. I said somebody. Did I say they're superior? I did say that, right? They're superior. They're super. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but that literally came to me intuitively. And now I see it somebody around work. So it could have been or somebody that they knew from work or somebody that they respected or trusted in some way. Look at that. Seven of swords. Sneaky, sneaky. Knight of coins. Ace of Wands, yeah, Chariot. Yeah, I think that whoever this uh, this King of Swords in reverse was definitely didn't want somebody to make a decision here. This was somebody that could have been around work. Maybe it affected their work. Maybe this is showing me they did some work on them as well that's been kind of deceptive here, very deceitful. Maybe on two people, for all I know here. Um, definitely something that was hidden here to stop some kind of progress forward here, to stop someone here from investing in another individual and having some kind of passionate new start here. They didn't want to see somebody moving away. That's what it is. They didn't want somebody to move away, to travel away. So with the world here as well, you guys could be in different places. Very interesting. Okay. So maybe they weren't actually going after the Empress. Maybe they were just doing it to the masculine here. Somebody's been going through a lot of healing. Okay, maybe they're still not healed. Let me go. Let me get these for a moment. What else, Spirit? Tell me more, please, about this situation here. So if you're very spiritual, this masculine could be looking to you, listening to you understanding more about them about the nature of who they are if they've been very rigid in the past maybe they're learning it doesn't have to be you okay so there could be a community here they could do something in the community work within the community here this could be people around them within the community i'm telling you the last one was about a cult of personality this could actually be people that you're working around okay maybe you have the same 
mission of sorts okay so you got to stick together and so it could definitely be something like that one of their brothers you know whomever here didn't want them to do that all right so we have community great fortune courtship hmm occupation sudden wealth okay thoughts change yeah all right so maybe what has happened here is so th this could very well be the masculine then i did start by saying that so the masculine up here the very single person who's done well for themselves maybe they work within a community of other people here maybe they've had a lot of great fortune okay perhaps they're held in in high regard maybe they have a higher position something like that but i think somebody close to them knew that they wanted to to court someone here we could have a masculine here that wanted to court someone here and maybe it was around work okay maybe they were i just said this person could be bisexual don't kick up over that i mean it just it is what it is you know maybe they had something with this person but somebody here came into some money they could have definitely came into some money here and they're really thinking about somebody else here with the six of cups definitely somebody from the past here and maybe it's actually causing them to go through some kind of change. The change, of course, is going to be the awakening here. Okay, so maybe this impacts someone's stability. Maybe that's why they've been tripping and doing this, this work. All right, it could have been a main male. Courthouse. Mature male. Oh, my God, an official person. Look at that. We got imprisonment on the bottom here. So maybe it's people that live together. <clears throat> they live together. They work together. <clears throat> I wonder if it's like an attorney here with the courthouse. Okay, we did see the, that usually indicates to me law anyway, whenever I'm seeing like the King of Swords. Could be somebody that's in some kind of law. Maybe this is something as well where somebody here, oh, okay, so maybe this person up here that's going through these changes, maybe they discovered something about somebody else. Maybe, or maybe they, maybe they went through some kind of legal, yeah, maybe they went through something legally. We have an official person, a mature man, and a main male here. Somebody's trying to get out of a situation is what I feel. They're trying to make some changes because they've been doing some changes here. And maybe some other people did not like that. But they may have had a house together or there may have been some kind of business dealings or something like that. What that were together. And they're trying to get out of that. That's what I'm telling you. They're trying to get out of something like that. So there could be some kind of legal proceedings that's going on here with the courthouse. Something is definitely going on there. This person's on their pathway now. See, that's the thing. Somebody's changing something. So whatever they were in before, whatever they were doing before, they obviously have people around them that are trying to stop them. Maybe this person is winning quite a bit as well with a sudden wealth and great fortune. Maybe they're getting quite a bit as well from whatever this is, whatever this legal proceeding is. Maybe they're winning a big case, a civil case. All right, let me see. What does this have to do with the collective, please? Maybe this is you, okay? Maybe you're winning a civil case and maybe you know that people have tried to stop you from getting to the truth or getting through this case in some way. You've been through a lot there in the warrior energy. Oh yeah, you've been through a lot and you've also been in this hangman position. You've really been getting clarity, I feel like, on your journey. Okay, the tower could be an internal tower just based on the clarity that you've gotten here but there's something big that is around you here yeah absolutely 
the tower is definitely something changing something changing like i said this could be an internal change because you have been in this hangman position for a while right You've definitely been thinking about things, getting perspective, going through this awakening of sorts. That could have been pretty painful for you as well. You're very guarded at this time because you do understand that you have a lot of people that could be against you with that seven of wands energy trying to create conflict. Again, over this two of cups, you've had that twice. This could be over some kind of partnership that you had or some kind of partnership that you desire. Okay, wow. Okay, it's not going to get much clearer than that. All right. And you've made some kind of choice here. What is that? Oh, that's the 10. To end something here. Could be with a freaking magician. <laughs> Maybe you were dealing with a magician. Maybe you were in... You know, the last reading was literally about a cult. I'm telling you that obviously had somebody there doing that kind of stuff. Maybe you guys do this kind of stuff. Okay. I don't know who I'm talking to here. Remember, we have somebody here that may feel like they were a fallen angel and they're looking towards their light, or maybe they were in the light and they're looking more towards, well, let me look at my darkness too. I feel like some, this is somebody though that started looking at things differently because they felt like whatever they were doing was dark or like they were damaged or something crazy like that, some hoopla. And I feel, I don't know why, but I feel like there is, um, I just feel there's a lot of remnants here of like religion. That's what I feel almost like, well, you got to sit it out because you're damaged goods or something like that, which is obviously not untrue. I mean, so untrue. Jesus would have never treated anyone like that. But um, I know that it can make you feel that way and very judged. So maybe that is what happened and caused someone to start kind of looking a little bit deeper and, and being a little bit more expansive here. Especially if they were doing stuff like this, magician work, right? I do think somebody here is trying to manifest someone back that they could love quite a bit here. That's what it has to do with you. It's you, clearly. Okay. Um, I mean, you got the two of cups and the lovers, and I think that came out in the other one. I'm telling you, these readings are going to link. They're going to link, and I've used a bunch of different decks here. Yeah, somebody is trying to escape is what I feel here. Escape a situation that they've been waiting for a while to get away from. And it may just be like a work situation. And I think people are going to feel betrayed by that as well. But I think this person feels betrayed because they feel like they've had a lot of people that have been coming against them and interfering in some way. This person could have been just waiting on some kind of payout, right? That could have been the ship they were waiting to come in here. They were waiting on some kind of payout, but they've never stopped thinking about someone here. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's get an outcome. Oh, five of coins. Okay. Well, outsider looking in here. Ace of cups, six of coins, ten of wands, the empress. Beautiful. King of coins. You got somebody here that is definitely all right. And then we have. Nine of coins again, and then we have the Knight of Swords. So something's going to happen very fast, okay? They could be coming towards this Nine of Coins energy. That's interesting because they were Nine of Coins too. All right, single person moving towards some single person. Both of you have done well. It looks like financially and with your stability, this person definitely feels out in the cold with you. So you probably have left them out in the cold. They could also be feeling like they're, no, I don't feel like this is a spiritual deficit or even monetarily, honestly. I feel like this is a person that's watching you from out in the cold and they want to come out of the cold in some way, okay? Um, they're going to show some kind of love, some kind of emotion here. Maybe that they want to give to you. That's what I'm feeling here. Maybe they need you to give to them too because it looks like they're quite cold here. This person is burdened by whatever has happened here. All right. I think all of the things that have been kind of coming towards them. I feel like they've been fighting through a battle. That's what I feel. 
I feel like they've definitely been fighting through kind of some kind of battle here. They may see you as the Empress or the King of Coins. We'll see where you fit in at. But I definitely think that somebody here is coming back stronger in their power, wanting some kind of stability. You could be dealing with a Taurus here. I also have Taurus Libra. Um, but they want some kind of a new start. They want to birth something new here. Yeah, and they want it to grow and to expand is what I'm feeling. I don't know why I'm very drawn to this person in terms of age. Maybe this person has aged a little bit since you've seen them last as well. They could have facial hair. I don't know why I'm being so drawn to that tonight, but I am, so I'm going to say it. Mm -hmm. Let me see what this is, why they're getting this sudden wild. I'm just... I'm interested. Inquiring minds. All right. Why? So why are they getting this? Great fortune service for some kind of service. What kind of service they performed. Hmm. What kind of services you perform in? Get that kind of money. <laughs> All right, let's see. Conversation. The gift is in reverse. Letter. Maybe somebody stole it from them. Maybe somebody took something that was theirs, that was their gift. Yeah, that's falseness. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's actually... Up right there. Prison. Oh, wow. Haughtiness. Oh, snap. This person might have something on somebody else here is what I'm feeling. Maybe they didn't. Look, this could be somebody that actually has some kind of legal proceedings against somebody that could have been. It could also be in criminal proceedings because, look, this person's actually in prison. All right. Uh, they could have had somebody that they performed. A, I don't know. Did they perform a service for this person? Something like that. Maybe they knew this this king of wands in reverse of whoever this was was doing things to them. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like there's a lot of talk about whatever this is. That's crazy. So maybe a bunch of people know this. This could be, I'm feeling a lot of legalities here. This could definitely be some kind of legal suit where somebody has actual evidence about what someone else has been getting here or doing here. Maybe someone stole, maybe someone did a service for them too and stole something from them. That could very well be it. Something of great value. And a lot of people are talking about that as well. Could have even been something as well, like if there was some kind of check to them, something. A credit card, something along those lines. I don't know. I'm saying this because of the, the money, getting this money back. You know, like somebody has to pay you restitution or something like that. Because it's also a criminal act, right? This could have been someone who they thought was a friend or someone who they could really trust or something like that. But then maybe they saw this person living a different life, being kind of haughty, you know, and who it was, you know. I almost feel like maybe your person was haughty in some sense. I'm not sure why. And maybe they, I just feel like they got taken advantage of. <laughs> That's what I feel. I do feel like they got taken advantage of in some way. And maybe they were paying for a service that they felt made them, I don't know, it's something to do with how they look, right? We got the peacock energy, makes them look bigger, better. Something along those lines, and they ended up getting screwed over. Yeah, this is the person that wants a reunion. <laughs> Just so you know. This is the person that wants the reunion here. Hmm. It could be, I see the priest here on the bottom here. I don't know if they feel we got someone that's involved here that could be highly spiritual here. You could, it could also be a priest, I guess. Maybe somebody's been seeing a priest as well to get advice or something like that. Yeah, they feel like somebody here could have been waiting for this for a while here. Yeah. 
But I think they were waiting as well. We have sorrow, we have enemy, and we have joyfulness. I think this person has been in sorrow about something that's been happening because I feel like they've had to keep it on the DL for some reason. Or maybe they just didn't want other people to know that's what was happening. This is really kind of sad because I feel like whoever was in sorrow, I do see a female here. If there was a female here that was actually in sorrow for a little bit, I feel like the enemy keeps watching. No, the enemy keeps watching. Okay, the enemy keeps watching maybe to see if the female was in sorrow or if somebody here was in sorrow. I'm not going to say a female. I feel like this is going, okay, this is so freaking masochistic, but I feel like someone got, like someone has got joy out of seeing someone else, out of keeping somebody down. That's what I feel. Somebody got joy out of keeping somebody down. Oh, I don't know that's what I am. Yep. So this could have just been this person's enemy. Like I said, they thought that they were a friend maybe, but it turns out that they were a false person. They were their enemy. They were working against them in some way. Wow. Goodness. Right. Look, and I just looked at the bottom. It says friend. Yeah, they definitely thought that this was their friend. Whoever their friend is or whoever this person was that has been working against them. I don't know. This is crazy. This is like some frenemy maybe situation. Regardless, I think what it's done is it's pushed this person here to grow. That's what I feel. To grow and really explore different things, different dynamics as well. Look, it could have been this priest too. Because didn't I say something about religion uh, playing a part in it? I mean, I don't think, hopefully it wasn't the priest doing this magic, but it could have been. It could have been someone like that coming across as very holy. And now that your person, and I keep saying your person because I believe it is, but just take it as it resonate, uh, resonates. Now that they're kind of going through their own growth and figuring their own stuff out. Yeah, I think they started, the more that they did that, the more they wanted to make a change. And somebody was definitely not having it. This is really sad. And this is quite sad, actually. Um, and take it as it resonates. That could have happened to you. This could be all about you and stopped you from going towards someone as well. Hmm. Let me see. I think I'm going to get, let me get some messages. Which ones do I want to pull from? Let me get some of these. I don't know why I'm getting these, but I'm just going to see. Is there anything else for the collective? Talking. Somebody's interested here in talking to you. Okay. They want to send a message, maybe. Send an email. Um, yeah. They Look, there's some kind of snake in the mix. I'm telling you. This is somebody. This is the enemy here that has been very clever. Okay, even malicious, all right, around somebody here. This could be a female or a male. It does not matter. This is definitely the enemy, okay? And it's all around some kind of soul connection. Somebody knows about somebody else's soul contract, that they're soulmates with somebody here, and, and they don't like it. They're trying to create some kind of problems here. Didn't I tell you? This person was rigid. They had outdated thinking, okay? Um... Yeah, their conditioning, whatever they're around, whoever they're around, they didn't want to see this person grow. They liked them that way. They don't like that this person, you know, got, I don't know, got, you know, fell in love with somebody, cared about somebody, wanted to start kind of looking into some of these things, that, you know, growing within themselves. So you've inspired someone to grow. That's what it looks like. All right. And somebody else definitely does not like it. <clears throat> yeah. This could be somebody that they have separated from or somebody. This could also be you guys if you're separated from them. Yeah, this is definitely somebody who's missing you and who's been sad. And we saw that actually in the beginner card anyway, the five of cups. Yeah, they're sad because maybe they want to be a part of your life. Maybe you bring them some kind of happiness and they're looking for some kind of expansion with you. Okay, you could have brought a lot of joy into this person's life as well. I think they've been feeling like perhaps they're not enough for you. Maybe they've been very frustrated in their own life and they actually lack some kind of confidence here. And I think they're heartbroken about the way that a lot of things have went, okay, in this situation. Maybe they're just waking up 
to how bad things have been or what actually has been going on in a situation. Hey, y'all let me know if y'all want me to, to post the cult video. <laughs> I'll leave it up to you guys. If you want to see that kind of drama, I'll bust it out, but it's getting pretty crazy. All right, Spirit, what might this person wish to say to the collective? Okay, they feel like you're the one that broke their heart. I can't do this. Yeah, I think this has been very difficult. Put themselves out there. They're not over you. I miss seeing you. This person definitely feels very cold out here. They want your attention. Maybe they used to see you at certain places and they don't they don't do that anymore. They don't have you in their life anymore. Oh, well, they feel the sexual attention. Well, that's always good to know. <laughs> Since you've let me down. This is a person, this is interesting. This is a person that feels let down by you. I still have feelings for you. Hmm. Well, it's more than that. I'm just going to tell you it's more than that because we saw the lovers, the two of cups, the lovers again. I mean, we saw reunion. I mean, obviously, it's so much more than, hey, I feel a lot of sexual attention uh, from you. This person already has a lot of trust issues. They feel like they did trust you, and for some reason, you left. Didn't I just get that? I feel like I just got this, right? This person feels like you're the one that left them that you let them down, maybe they don't understand. And I don't know from your perspective because I haven't went into it, but I'm sure there's more to the story here. There, if there was a snake in the mix that was causing trouble trying to create problems, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you could have just left the situation. I left a situation like that, you know? If somebody's continuing to hit me with stuff and, you know, especially energy and you can't even give me a name, you know who it is. <laughs> so I can block them, then yeah, I'm just gonna move on. I don't have time for that. I'm not gonna, you're not gonna drag me down. So, um, yeah, I definitely think, I think this person, feel, first of all, they need to get more self aware. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm glad that they're studying, I'm glad they're doing their thing here, but they need to become more self aware here. Because this could have definitely been, I'm feeling at least a two-way street here. They did stuff as well. So maybe in the end, they did break their own heart. Or maybe they felt heartbroken or something like that. But there's more. I feel like there's so much more that's going on here. Yeah. And, you know, even with these cards here, I mean, why would somebody, why would you need to go to court? They might have been chasing their money or, you know what I'm saying, just more focused on having a business or doing stuff like that than maybe being involved in this situation as well. But they definitely had someone here interfering. And they know that, by the way. They know somebody else was interfering here. Okay. They know somebody else was using these lower uh, energies to impact you guys. So. You know, they know that. All right. All right, guys. I think I'm just going to leave it right there. That's what I have for you guys tonight. Uh, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.